Now that you learned about magnets in our previous episode, let us check your understanding on this lesson through answering these learning activities on magnets. Do not forget to check your answers and let us see how well did you learn. I am Teacher Larisa, your learning buddy in Science 4. For our first activity, complete the paragraph below to describe the kind of force exerted by a magnet. Choose your answers from the box. I will give you two minutes to answer this activity. Your timer starts now. Now, let us mark your answers by completing the paragraph below using this key to correction. When the poles of the two magnets are put near each other, they have a force that will either pull them together or push them apart. If the poles are different, then they will pull together or attract each other. If the poles are the same, then they will push apart or repel each other. The push and pull of a magnet is called magnetism. Magnets showing the north and south poles attract metallic objects. Do you have the same answers with me? Yay! You're doing a good job! Now let us do our second activity. Write C if the statement is correct and I if the statement is incorrect. Number 1. Silver and gold rings attract to magnets. Number 2. Iron, cobalt, and nickel are materials attracted to magnets. Number 3. All objects that are made up of iron are attracted to magnets. Number 4. Two unlike poles of a magnet, when put near each other, pull apart. And lastly, when the north pole of a magnet is placed near the north pole of another magnet, electromagnetic force tends to pull each other together. Now let us see if your answers are correct. For number one, the correct answer is I. This statement is incorrect because silver and gold are not attracted to magnets. Number two, the correct answer is C. This statement is correct. Iron, cobalt, and nickel are materials attracted to magnets. Number three, the correct answer is C. 
This statement is also correct because iron metals are attracted to magnets. Number four, the correct answer is I. This statement is incorrect because two unlike poles of a magnet do not pull each other apart. It pull each other towards one another. Number five, the correct answer is I. This statement is incorrect. When north pole of a magnet is placed near the north pole of another magnet, they will push each other away. Do you have the same answers with me? You're doing an excellent job! Now let us proceed to our next activity. Now let us read each item carefully. Choose the letter of your answer. You can write down your answers on your notebook. Number one, when the same poles of two magnets, whether north or south, are placed close to each other, they, A, will push each other, B, will pull each other, C, will not attract each other, and letter D, will not move. Number two, if you break a magnet into pieces, what will happen to the force that will be exerted by the magnet when in use? A, force remain the same. B, force exerted will decrease. C, force will be doubled. And letter D, force of each magnet will not be affected. Number three, the following materials are attracted to magnet, except A. Iron nail B. Tom taps C. Coins and letter D. Eraser Number 4. When two magnets are placed near each other with different poles, they will A. Repel B. Attract C. Stop. D. Break. Number 5. The act of pushing and pulling of a magnet is called A. Force. B. Magnetism. C. Gravity. D. Friction. Now let us mark your answers. For number 1, the correct answer is a. When the same poles of two magnets, whether north or south, are placed close to each other, they will push each other. Number two. The correct answer is letter B. Force exerted will decrease. For number three, the correct answer is Letter D. The following materials are attracted to magnet except for eraser. Number 4. The correct answer is letter B. When two magnets are placed near each other with different poles, they will attract. For our last number, the correct answer is letter B. The act of pushing and pulling of a magnet is called magnetism. Did you get all the correct answers? Wow! You're doing a good job! Excellent! Now, let us try to do this activity. Not all materials are magnetic. Take a look at the list. Can you pick out the ones that are magnetic? Connect the materials that are magnetic into the magnet by drawing a line. I will give you one minute to answer this activity. Your timer starts now.
Now, let us mark your answers. The materials that are magnetic include hair clip, coin, and safety pin. Do you have the same answers with me? Wow! Very good! Yay! We can now move forward to our last activity. Are you ready? Come on! For our last activity, we have modified true or false. Write true if the statement is correct, otherwise, underline the word that makes it incorrect and write the correct word. Do this on your notebook. Number one, all magnets have two north poles. Number two, if you break a magnet into two pieces, you will have two magnets with the same poles. Number three, the pulling or pushing force is strongest at the north pole. Number four, most objects with iron are attracted to magnets. And number five, magnet can repel an object made of paper. Let us now mark your answers. For number one, this statement is incorrect. The word opposite must replace the word north because all magnets have two opposite poles. Number two, this statement is also incorrect. The correct word must be unlike. It should replace the word the same. Because if you break a magnet into two pieces, you will have two magnets with unlike poles. Number three, the correct answer should be and. It must replace the word north because the pulling or pushing force is strongest at the end pole of a magnet. Number four, this statement is Correct. Therefore, it is true. Most objects with iron are attracted to magnets. And lastly, number five. This statement is also correct. Therefore, the answer is true. Magnets cannot attract objects made of paper. Do you have the same answers with me? Wow, we're doing a good job! That's great! Now that we are done doing these activities on magnets, reflect on what you learned on this lesson by completing the statements below. Do this with the guidance of your home facilitators. You can write your answers on your notebook. That's it, science kids! I hope you learned something new in our science episode for today. If you like this video, do not forget to hit like and subscribe in our channel and ring the notification bell for you to be updated in our upcoming videos. You can also follow me on my different social media accounts for more updates. See you again next week! Bye bye